Sounds like Leslie Headland, the director of The Acolyte Show, is a big fan of Knights of the Old Republic and even took some inspiration from it when creating The Acolyte. Yes, in an interview with Den of Geek, the director and creator of The Acolyte, Leslie Headland, shared her thoughts on Knights of the Old Republic, the Star Wars video game, how she is very fond of it, and used some inspiration from the game, more specifically from one character, as inspiration for The Acolyte. She shares the following quote. While we don't get into that particular lore, there were some things in Legends that I wanted to drag out because I feel that they were very interesting, not only to the storyline, but to myself as a fan. I thought, well, I'd love to do that. She continues, Darth Treya really stuck out to me as an inspiration. So if you didn't know, Darth Treya appeared in Knights of the Old Republic 2, and she is one of the main villains in the game. Very cool character, a lot of fans' favorite villains from that kind of era of Star Wars and Star Wars Legends. And although Hedlund didn't get into a lot of details regarding what about the character inspired the show, what character in the Acolyte is going to take from that character in KOTOR, she did name drop a very, very well-loved and respected character from Legends, which we really haven't seen a lot of in this new wave of Star Wars, which alone is pretty cool. Like I said, she didn't really get into detail besides the name drop. She just said that she really likes the games and really liked the character and wanted to pull some inspiration from Legends. Now, just some quick speculation here. I personally think that she might have taken some inspiration from Darth Treya and applied it to whoever this acolyte is or whoever this mysterious Sith figure is. As I say in all these acolyte videos, we don't really know too much about this show. We know the premise. We don't know if there is one dark side user. We don't know if there's two, but I think it's safe to say that she took inspiration from Darth Treya and applied it to one of these dark side users or the singular dark side user. Maybe some traits, maybe some lightsaber forms, maybe just some small character quirks, or maybe she went all out and kind of applied that story to this new character, which of course we have seen a lot of in the Disney Star Wars era, kind of taking legend stories and tweaking them to these new, these newly created characters. Which again, I think this is really cool. It was only a couple videos ago that I did a video reporting on Leslie Headland being a huge fan of the Clone Wars animated series and taking a lot of inspiration from the episode of The Wrong Jedi. Just days later that she is a fan of the KOTOR games and takes direct inspiration from one of the coolest characters, in my opinion, of that series is, again, raising my hopes for this series. While I'm sure she's not going to just plop Darth Treya into the Acolyte, hearing that she's going to just kind of pull some of this Legends lore out of the shadows and place it into canon in her own way, hopefully a good way, is really nice to hear because we need to see some of the source material used in current Star Wars, especially when you're starting to go backwards into the timeline. There's a lot of stories that fans adore in that era. I know this era has not been touched upon too much outside of the High Republic books, but hearing that she is taking Old Republic lore and kind of shaping it into traits of a character leading up to the Skywalker saga, I feel like that could work really well. But again, we're just going to have to kind of wait and see uh, how that's going to play out. But yeah, that's really all I have to say on that. Just wanted to share that quick bit of news with you guys that Leslie Headland took some inspiration from KOTOR and Darth Trias specifically in order to create the Acolyte. Now I want to hear what you guys have to say down in the comments below. I'm excited to read through those. While you're at it, make sure to leave a like on the video and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.